Well, protecting bus drivers from attacks after a heart driver was stabbed to death earlier this year. Officials are now keeping their promise to all Tampa bus drivers, bringing together bus officials from around the country to talk safety. All new at 6, ABC Action News reporter Heather Lee giving us a first-hand look at the glass barriers they're installing on every single bus. Come December, every heart bus will have one of these glass barriers surrounding drivers. This is one of the, the, the one of the worst attack zones is right around this area. On Monday, bus operators got to see the custom fit shields in person. It is a deterrent uh, to help protect the driver from um, getting abused, hopefully verbally or uh, with material. Mark Rickliffs represents the company behind the production and installation of the barriers. He says their phones have been ringing off the hook in Florida and all over the country for these types of shields. It is not slowing down anytime soon. Heart drivers wish these safety measures had come sooner before Thomas Dunn was killed behind the wheel of Route 400 two months ago. It is a positive. Did it come too late? Yes, most definitely. But it is a step forward in ensuring that all our members are coming to work safely and able to go back home to their kids, family, loved ones safely. Bus leaders nationwide came together Monday to discuss a more uniform response and protocol when bus operators are attacked. We do what we do because we love it, not because we have to. Tanisha Jordan says building the relationship between passengers and operators is key. CEO Ben Limmer says they're starting a ride with respect campaign to do just that and also beefing up security at transit centers. Heather Lee, ABC Action News.